Hey friends, Drex here from Drex Factor Poise, sharing with you the love of poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. Um, so I recently taught a private lesson on how to do stalls and I came up with a pretty awesome way to get these down stalls in in a pretty intuitive fashion that I wanted to share with you all. But before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Fire Mecca, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, and Ultrapoy for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I have down in the description of this video. And special thanks to the non-business friends of the channel, Lei Machinsky and Pekka Pekkonen. Thank you so very much for supporting my channel, my work, and my mission. So, stalls. They're super useful as a transition tool. If you're trying to switch the direction of the poi back and forth, or switch the timing of them, stalls are really, really helpful for doing that. They're also kind of a pain in the butt because they require us to have a pretty good level of control over the poi's momentum and how to get it to stop. Now, I personally have a way that I like visualizing stalls, wherein the path that the poi travels is kind of like a circle, and there's a box that goes around that circle, touching it in four points. Now, when we perform our stalls, what we're actually doing is we're bringing our poi head up to touch each of the corners of that box, and that is what makes the stalls work. The whole idea here is that once the poi passes by that point where there's an intersection between the box and the circle, our next move is to get our hand out to that same intersection. And once we do so, that'll cause the poi head to travel straight along the edge of the box for one poi length, and that will get it to stop. This works whether the poi is stalling down, up, top side, or across like so. That's great in theory, but how do we actually do it in practice? So glad you asked. I recently had a private lesson wherein I taught this to somebody who was kind of struggling with it, and I found a new approach to teaching it. So that's what we're gonna go through. So first up, a word on things that make stalls a little bit easier to accomplish. Uh, for one thing, if you use heavier poi heads, paradoxically, having more mass actually makes stalls a little bit easier to get into. The other thing I will say is shortening up your poi can help out a lot. So if you've got longer poi, you can wrap them around your hand once in order to get a shorter version of that poi. And shorter tethers definitely help when you're first starting out. As you get more comfortable with your stalls though, definitely challenge yourself to perform them with longer poi. So we're gonna start off like this. You're gonna take the poi in your dominant hand and you're going to spin it so that it is coming down across your non-dominant side. My dominant hand is my right hand. So I'm spinning my poi counterclockwise relative to me. That way the poi is coming down over on my left side. Makes sense? It's going up past my right elbow elbow down past my right shoulder. All right, so our next move is that we're gonna try and catch the poi head when it's straight out to the side. That is, when it's pointing straight over to the left from my right hand, like so. The way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna have my left hand reach out in front of me and I'm gonna just sweep it in to let the poi head drop into my hand as it's coming down from above. All right, so the next move here is that once I catch the poi head in my left hand, my right hand is gonna reach out to my left to meet that other hand. This is not gonna be my left hand comes in to meet my right hand, it's my right hand reaching over to my left to catch up with the left. Really important, I need to underscore this. When you catch that poi head, it's your dominant hand that reaches out to catch up with it. It's not a case where your non-dominant hand is coming in to meet the other one, or that the two hands are coming together. It's very much, I'm catching with my left hand, my left hand doesn't move, it's my right hand that goes out to meet it, yeah? All right, so once you get comfortable doing the catch and come in, catch and come in, catch and come in, I want you to work on narrowing the amount of time between those two things. So catch, come in right away, 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 just like that. All right, so the last step of this is we're gonna take out the catch entirely. What's gonna happen instead is you're gonna imagine that you've caught that poi head and then immediately bring out your dominant hand to that same point. You're gonna imagine the catch happened, bring your hand out, and what's gonna happen instead is that the poi head is going to drop down a full poi length and as your dominant hand is coming out towards the point where you would have caught it, you wind up with this place where the poi head stops moving and 
the poi just winds up hanging there beneath your hand. So again, the steps of this are, we're gonna catch the poi head, catch the poi head, catch the poi head, and then we catch, bring the dominant hand over, 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 then we do it faster. Catch, pull, catch, pull, catch, pull, and then we take the catch out entirely, and we just bring out our hand as the poi is passing by that position out to the side of it. And this should give us a really, really clean down stall, like that. So after a few repetitions, getting that down, again, it's really helpful to practice this, looking at yourself in a mirror. Try going the other way. So after you've done the stall, you'll pull your hand back to center and bring the poi head up above it. And try bringing it down to your dominant side, your non-dominant side, your dominant side, your non-dominant side. Going back and forth, just like this. Cool. So once this gets to feel comfortable, you can try letting out the poi to full length and see how that works for you. You're going to have to make a few adjustments just because the greater length means that you're going to have to let your hand travel out more in order to get the poi to drop a full poi length down in order to complete the stall. But other than that, yeah, this is the recipe to at least get down those down stalls. And as you get more comfortable with this, you can start to get a little bit more extra with it, maybe explore the space around you a little bit more, and use a little bit more hand motion to complete those stalls in different places around you. But this right here, this is the basic motion that you want to get down in order to get into the other stuff. Cool, I really hope this was helpful. If you got anything out of this video, please make sure to leave me a like, comment, share, and subscribe to help other people find the video, and of course, to help my channel grow. This video would not be possible without the kind support of all of these awesome people right here. They, along with the people listed down in the description, helped to make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Thank you one and all for your very generous support. And if you out there watching are not currently a supporter but would like to become one, you can do that by heading on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up. There you can get access to a whole host of awesome rewards, and even better, you'll be helping me out in my mission to bring poi spinning and flow arts to the whole wide world. So go check that out, please and thank you. And if you'd like to check out more beginner poi lessons that I've done, uh, I will go ahead and leave a link to a playlist of those videos down in the description as well as up here on screen if you are watching on YouTube. Also, the YouTube algorithm thinks that you might like this top video based upon some of your other past viewing choices, so maybe give that a look as well. Thanks so much for watching, make sure to get outside to flow today, and I'll see you with a new video real soon. Peace.